You didn't come to the show we did here, did you, before it was referred no. to Dan? That was like two years ago? Three years ago? Two. Um. <coughs> yeah, it was crazy. This is the first year that there's no art show, basically. We didn't do one last year. Um, that was the only year we did one, but we basically, because we found out, like, there needs to be a whole separate staff to do the art show, because it was crazy stressful. Um, on top of all the other mural stuff happening, like, yeah. my two assistants for the entire event were, like, here s setting up, and so I was, like, literally between, like, 17 murals, because I was overly ambitious that year, and yeah. was like, we can do this, and then, like, it was literally just me, like, my phone not stopping, because it would be, like, a different artist being like, I need a thing, and then, of course, I don't have it, so I got to go to a store, or, I, like, yeah. go home to get it, or something stupid. Yeah, I think last year was the first year where I felt like now there's like a team of people with that uh, lounge. Yeah, that was the goal was like, I knew I had to kind of like, or I had to open it up so that more people could experience what I experience because right. that's what keeps me wanting to do it is these moments of being in connected with those artists and um, it's just, we don't have that exposure in Battle Creek. We don't have a really like connected art scene here where you you can stop down to hand mat brewing and know that there's going to be another yeah. person that is interested in art that you can just chat with right. randomly. Yeah. That just it doesn't happen a lot. And so, um, yeah, it's just kind of like if I can create that for even one week a year yeah. through this festival and then show especially young people what that's like and show them like what's possible um, that can really change like day-to-day -day culture here. the dichotomy between the size of the city and how many <coughs> Excuse orders me. of arts there are contrasted with the high quality caliber of the artists that are coming for Color of the Creek is pretty interesting. Because you have, we go out to dinner with Vile or uh, all these different Blue the Great, whatever, and these guys are doing huge murals in, in big cities, the biggest cities, and then they come here. Yeah. It's like, it's interesting to watch that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's been nice for some of the artists from bigger cities and that are used to going to some of these more bigger corporate events to come to a pretty grassroots event where it really is just a small group of four or five people that are helping produce all these pieces with these amazing, talented people. Yeah. Um, so it's almost uh, like a new experience for people or. Uh, a welcome experience that they just haven't had in a while or something but you know the Battle Creek community always shows love for the artists and just does awesome things like show up with snacks and someone <laughs> brought Justin Suarez uh, aerosol kingdom uh, like a present one time and stuff and like just because he was beautifying their neighborhood and they you know people appreciated it and um, you know so to see that like how people treat the artists. Like I don't, I don't think I've had an artist that said anything about having a bad experience. Like they all had really positive interactions with the community. Yeah, that's the sense that I get too. It's like they're all. That's the general sense that I get in Battle Creek is when you have, you bring somebody who's not familiar with the downtown, and they're like, "This is really nice here." Yeah. And then you have that contrasted with they're getting paid like actual artists and they're doing LA or Miami or Chicago and they're like, this is kind of an interesting small city. Mm -hmm. No, I think that's what's definitely been enticing to people when we reach out and, you know, I try to give people a background of the city and kind of what's been going on in the last five, 10 years. And I mean, especially like 20, 30 years, obviously there's been kind of a decline. Um, 
but instead of dwelling on that, just talking about what we've been doing in the last five years of just trying to do plant seeds. Um, you know, when I first moved back here, like now five years ago, which is crazy. Um, if you would have told me that like it took this long to build like what we've built so far, I would have been like, that's not worth it. No, I'm just kidding. But I, what I would have been, I would have not been wanting to be that patient but the patience really has been like awesome because there's just been a steady climb yeah. of attention with color of the creek and just the cooler more ambitious projects we can do like the first year i was like begging people to let me have murals painted and even with like full drawings made ahead of time like this is exactly what it's going to look like they'd still like oh. and but then as soon as they saw a couple that actually existed everyone was like oh we want that now right um but going from yeah barely even being allowed to paint a blighted wall to like creating a installation experience on the linear trail so that people can walk through downtown and have moments where they can take photos and experience something interesting for a few seconds um while they're hopefully enjoying the rest of downtown but um i don't know it's just it's evolved and it's changed in ways that I wasn't expecting. And so just seeing how that's kind of played out has been really interesting and really re rewarding too.